Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, <clears throat> today I'm talking about John Five. Lovely man. I've met him a few times and I always found him to be most agreeable. Um, and he's got this song that I'm excited to react to called The Ghost. Um, it came out on the 27th of October and uh, I'm going to listen to it and tell you what I think about it. Um, I might even have a little go at trying to play some of the guitar parts on it, but it's John Five. I mean, come on, guys. He's a legend. Justin Hawkins rides again, again. Yes, yeah, so I first met John Five when he was playing with Rob Zombie, and I think we played at Rock Lahoma or one of these uh, American festivals, and... He was very nice to me. Really, really cool guy. Um, um, anyway, so former Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie guitarist and current Motley Crue guitarist John Five has released a new instrumental song called The Ghost. Um, about this release, John Five says, This song called The Ghost is pretty much about my guitar that came out earlier this year. The guitar is, to me, the perfect guitar. It has everything. Looks, durability, amazing sound. So the only thing I could do is create a song that shows all of its glory. When the guitar came out, I went right into the studio and recorded this song with a new guitar, and I couldn't think of a more fitting title than The Ghost. So he's, a, he's singing about his guitar, I suppose, or, you know, writing a song that's in tribute to the instrument that he adores. It's wonderful. For over 30 years, John Five has been one of the most in-demand guitar players. He's also worked with an impressive array of names, including Steve Perry, Katie Lang, Rod Stewart, David Lee Roth, Alice Cooper, Tina Guo, I nearly said uh, Tina Turner then. Uh, Leonard Skinner, Meatloaf, Ricky Martin and Stephen Adler. Um, Slash has called John Five one of the most mind-blowing guitarists around and Rob Zombie dubbed him a f***ing shredder. Um, he is all of those things, I think. Um, by the way, uh, just to let you know, tickets for the live Justin Hawkins Rides Again for the first time UK Tour. UK Tour. I've never been able to pronounce tour. Tour, tour. I say tour. Um, um, they're now on sale, along with the VIP meet and greet stuff too. And there's a link in the description to get tickets. Okay. See, this little bit of tappy, tappy stuff he's doing here, was it? Pff, I don't know. I'll, might not be the right guitar for this sort of thing. <laughs> I used to watch uh, a lot of uh, John Five's Instagram videos and it would be him practicing with some naked uh, Sphinx cats sitting around. Um, and always just like with a metronome, playing really complex uh, arpeggios and tapping stuff. It's This is a disciplined and accomplished guitar man. I heard some stories about how he writes for other bands as well. He goes in and he says, I'm not going to write lyrics, I'm not going to tell you what to sing but here's the riff, and then just blows people away with his incredible sort of riffery. And then leads them to it. And the, the E string is D tuned to D, I just noticed that. Even lower now. Yeah, D. Try and play that riff. Yeah. Really cool. Sounds like he's on the bass pickup, and then when you look at this new guitar, like the, the ghost guitar. It looks like it's kind of um, something along the lines of a of a Telecaster, but there's a it must be a Telecaster Deluxe or something. Cause there's a there's a pickup switch on the top horn, which has got in the up position, which I would suggest is the equivalent of the rhythm set, rhythm pickup of uh, Les Paul. So it gives it that sort of bassy, less less attacky kind of um, vibe. And when you're doing those. Um, Arpeggios and stuff with the with the sort of alternate plectrum strokes. It's really effective for that. And when you hear, whenever I hear somebody doing lead stuff like that, it puts me in mind of um, the way Slash approaches a lot of lead stuff. 
but this isn't he's not playing like Slash he's playing like <laughs> Ingve Momstein It's a good plectrum trick, isn't it? So he goes round, goes round the outside, and then catches it there. That's pretty cool. I'm going to use that one. Um, I'd be really disappointed if he chooses to do my plectrum trick, which is the one where you throw it, kick it, and catch it. But you know, it's a music video, so anything goes. He's got quite a spread on his hand. I think he's doing like a five. It's going from 17th fret down to 12th. First of all, if he's been doing this for 30 years, how come he still looks like the same age as when he first started doing it? What is this magic? I love, I love it because there's some stuff that comes out that sort of resembles refrains, but there's there's so much technical wizardry in between them. You know, I mean, so there's stuff there's stuff to hang your coat on and and like little hooks that that get under your skin, but then really impressive guitar playing in between. But he's still on that bass pickup. It's really interesting. So impressive. I tried to get soft to teach me how to do all that stuff. He said, well, it's just tricks, and then he started showing me. It was like, they're not tricks. This is fucking astonishing technique, and it's really, really impressive. See, there it is. There's. really pleased with that guitar, isn't he? <laughs> and the dog remains unaffected. I mean, it's just a really good bit of guitar. I was, I was constantly expecting him to sort of move away from that bass pickup. But what I love about this bit of John Five playing is like sometimes when you hear um, instrumental guitar stuff, it stops sounding like a guitar. It almost sounds like a spaceship taking off, and there's there's you know sometimes they affect it in a way that's kind of it loses its inherent you know piece of wood with some metal attached to it kind of sound you know. But that's definitely still sounds like a guitar, and it's just played really well. It's so, he's just a great guitar player. Awesome stuff. Well done, John. Five. Justin Hawkins writes again. Again. Oh, I'm still detuned. Again. to get softer to come and tune this guitar for me, I think. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch one of these two videos, join the mailing list, and don't forget tickets for my live Justin Hawkins Rides Again for the first time tour in the UK um, are on sale now, along with meet and greet tickets too. There's a link to, it, link to that stuff in the description. Good stuff, guys. Let me know if you see anything that you think I should uh, react to. Um, you often do anyway, but um, I appreciate you all very much, and I'll see you upon the ice. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Bye-bye. Okay.